Welcome to the Wealth Code Blockchain Knowledge Series, and in this episode, we'll be talking about Cardano. Remember to follow and subscribe to our pages for all future episodes being released on a regular basis. And of course, if you'd like us to delve deeper into any of your favorite blockchains, cryptos, or digital assets for future episodes, or you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. So let's get started. Following the first and second generation of cryptocurrencies marked by the launch of Bitcoin's pioneering blockchain technology and Ethereum's smart contracts platform, Cardano is considered to be at the forefront of what's described as the third generation of crypto projects. It's also the first to take a peer-reviewed academic approach driven by scientific research and formal verification, developed by experts in the field to build a native blockchain from scratch. Frustrated by the perceived shortcomings of previous generations of blockchain technology, three organizations took on the responsibility for Cardano's development alongside the open source community, IOHK, the Cardano Foundation, and Emergo. Together, they set out to create a smart contract platform using layered architecture to offer the scalability, interoperability, sustainability, and security that decentralized applications require as the crypto ecosystem continues to grow. It's an approach that carries some risk in that it slows down Cardano's progress against an overall environment of inherently fast-paced development. So how does Cardano stack up against competing projects? What does it do differently? And will a focus on the long term ultimately reap rewards? During the course of this video, we'll find out, starting with the basics. What is Cardano? Named after Italian polymath Gerolamo Cardano, Cardano is an open source blockchain project for peer-to-peer -peer transactions with a layered architecture that supports dApp development, a multi-asset ledger, and verifiable smart contracts. It's written using the Haskell functional programming language for high assurance code that improves security and auditability. Cardano is currently the largest proof of stake protocol by staked value, ahead of competing networks like Polkadot, Solano, Ethereum 2.0, and Avalanche among the top five. It uses a provably secure consensus algorithm known as Ouroboros, enabling the decentralization and adaptability that allows Cardano to sustainably scale. Designed from the ground up, Cardano has been verified by an industry-leading combination of engineers and academics in blockchain and cryptography. With a strong focus on sustainability, scalability, and transparency, it aims to deliver an inclusive, fair, and resilient infrastructure for financial and social applications on a global scale, particularly to those people historically without access. Having completed its foundational and initial decentralization phases, Cardano is currently developing its smart contract platform for enterprise-level dApps. Further down the roadmap, which we'll explore in more detail later, Cardano will introduce further scalability infrastructure and a decentralized governance and treasury system to decide on future development. What is Ada? Named after the influential English mathematician Ada King, Countess of Lovelace, known for her work on the Babbage computer, the Ada token powers transactions on the Cardano network. Fittingly, Lovelace is also the name for the smallest unit of Ada, comparable to Satoshi's in Bitcoin. Following the latest development release, Cardano has enabled delegated staking, allowing ADA holders to delegate to a stake pool and earn a share of the ADA staking rewards to help secure the network. In later phases, ADA will also be utilized in smart contracts, the treasury system, and network governance. It should be noted that Cardano also supports the creation of native tokens within the ecosystem that can be fungible, like ADA, or non-fungible, like unique NFTs, for payments, rewards, trading, or data purposes in applications, similar to Ethereum's ERC-20 standard. The total supply of ADA is capped at 45 billion tokens, with 32 billion currently in circulation and the remaining 13 billion to be minted through staking rewards. Once the cap is reached, rewards will then be fully funded by transaction fees on the network. History of Cardano Cardano was started by former Ethereum co-founder Charles Hoskinson and his colleague Jerry Wood in 2015. 
before the first iteration of the platform launched as a federated network to support ADA transactions in 2017. Hoskinson and Wood jointly founded IOHK at the same time as a research and development company for peer-to-peer -peer blockchain innovations, contracted to help build, design and maintain Cardano during its initial phases. The Cardano Foundation, established in 2016, is a non-profit that oversees and supervises the development of Cardano, as well as working with regulators in different jurisdictions to help shape blockchain legislation and commercial standards for the emerging crypto industry. In 2017, Emurgo became the official commercial and venture arm for the Cardano project, responsible for building relationships with organizations adopting Cardano's technology. These entities work closely together alongside the wider Cardano community to advance the project during the early phases of its development. The first two phases have been completed, transitioning Cardano from the basic foundational network to a decentralized one bringing the Ouroboros Proof-of-Stake protocol to life. The latest phase, Gaguen, integrates smart contracts and native token issuance, adding the ability to build dApps on Cardano. This will be followed by scaling and governance development in the final two phases. At that point, Cardano will be a fully functioning and self-sustaining decentralized network, no longer reliant on these organizations to move forward. But more on this later. How Cardano works. In contrast to single layer smart contract platforms that result in the scalability issues of network congestion, slower transactions and higher fees, Cardano's unique blockchain architecture consists of two layers. The Cardano Settlement Layer, CSL, and the Cardano Computational Layer, CCL, sharing the security of the Ouroboros Proof-of-Stake consensus mechanism. Cardano Settlement Layer. The CSL is the currency layer of Cardano, settling ADA and native token peer-to-peer -peer transfers on the network near instantaneously and with minimal transaction fees. It also enables the immutable recording of those transactions on the Cardano ledger, similarly to layer one blockchains. Cardano computational layer. The CCL is a smart contract layer, consisting of a set of protocols allowing for advanced functionality that developers can leverage to build decentralized applications. Operating as a separate layer, the CCL enables a more flexible data storage and access model using Plutus and Marlowe to deliver a new class of enterprise level smart contracts with verified functionality. Plutus is a purpose-built smart contract development language and execution platform using Haskell. Plutus brings the benefits of functional programming to smart contract creation, allowing one code base to support both on and off-chain components, improving the development experience compared with existing smart contract implementations. Marlowe improves accessibility, allowing financial and business experts to create DeFi smart contracts without any technical knowledge. The Marlowe Playground provides an easy-to-use application building platform for non-programmers to simplify the process of creating smart contracts for financial applications. Ouroboros Proof of Stake Ouroboros is Cardano's proof of stake consensus protocol, used by nodes running the Cardano software to secure the network, validate ADA transactions, and ensure the safety of smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. Ouroboros also provides the rewards for token holders who stake ADA to the network and help ensure consensus. Time is divided into slots and epochs. Epochs are fixed periods configurable via Cardano update proposals. Slots are smaller time increments within these epochs. Each epoch works as a provably secure lottery, proportional to stake distribution, with a set of random nodes selected to be slot leaders and assigned the right to validate transactions and create a new block in a specific slot. For each slot, a leader is chosen at random from the set of nodes selected from the epoch, produces the block, and links it to the previous one in the Cardano blockchain, receiving a reward in return. A new set of leaders are then selected for the next epoch, and the cycle continues. As each epoch can be partitioned infinitely, Cardano can scale to demand without hitting bottlenecks. To extend participation in consensus for as many holders as possible, Ouroboros also introduces the concept of stake pools. ADA stakers can delegate to a stake pool, which provides a reliable server node committed to run the protocol 24-7 on behalf of all the ADA holders 
delegating their stake to that pool. The stake pool uses the combined staking power of all the delegated stakes to increase the chances of selection for producing new blocks to earn staking rewards. In return, the ADA holders receive a share of those rewards, proportional to their stake, without having to maintain their own node. The Roadmap Continuing the theme of Cardano's nomenclature, its five main development phases, namely Byron, Shelley, Gagoan, Basho and Voltaire, each focus on a core functionality within the network. Byron marked the foundational era of the initial version of Cardano in 2017. It allowed users to transact in ADA using the Daedalus wallet on a federated network running the Ouroboros Consensus Protocol, helping Cardano grow from a small group of enthusiasts to a global community. The Shelley mainnet launching in 2020 then started the decentralized era, introducing staking delegation and incentive schemes to reward community nodes and stake pools until reaching a majority, enjoying a greater security and robustness and setting the stage for a fully distributed network. As Cardano now transitions to the third Gagoin era, the integration of smart contracts following the Alonzo upgrade represents a leap forward in functionality for the network, adding the ability to build decentralized applications on Cardano for the first time and delivering on the promise of Plutus and Marlow elements of the computational layer. It's already enabled a multi-currency ledger following the Mary upgrade allowing DeFi, NFT, Stablecoin and other crypto projects to issue natively supported tokens on Cardano. The fourth era, Basho, will then improve the scalability and interoperability of the network to better support growth for applications with higher transaction volume, without compromising security. The introduction of sidechains interoperable with Cardano chain will expand the capabilities of the network. Working as sharding mechanisms to offload work from the main chain to increase capacity and potentially interact with external chains too. Voltaire will then provide the final piece in the puzzle for Cardano to become fully self-sustaining. This decentralized governance era introduces a voting and treasury system whereby participants can use their stake and voting rights to influence further development and allocate the pooled treasury funds generated from transaction fees. From that point, Cardano's future will be in the hands of the community. The Verdict Cardano is the first blockchain project founded on peer-reviewed research and development through evidence-based methods to build a scalable, interoperable, sustainable and secure network from scratch. This future-orientated strategy is in stark contrast to the congestion and high gas issues now witnessed on other networks that didn't develop architecture to suitably scale over time, shifting the burden further down the life cycle. Its multi-layered proof-of-stake platform provides a foundation for peer-to-peer -peer transactions, smart contract capabilities, and dApp development that can scale and interoperate with other networks over the long term flexibly adapting to the demands of increased throughput and keeping fees low via decentralized infrastructure and governance system that doesn't compromise on security. There's no doubt it's further behind than other projects, especially in terms of smart contract and DeFi functionality. But by focusing on providing the right foundation, Cardano's unique approach may just win out in the end. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Wealth Code Blockchain Knowledge Series. Stay up to date by subscribing and following our pages for all future episodes. And feel free to comment if you'd like us to delve deeper into any of your favorite blockchains, cryptos, or digital assets in future videos. I'll see you on the next episode.